first part of the video we have discussed about the atrial events now we will discuss about the ventricular events ventricular systole the first event of ventricular systole is isometric contraction period it lasts for about 0.05 second immediately after the atrial systole the atrioventricular valves are closed due to the increase in ventricular pressure the semilunar valves are also closed now ventricles contract as closed cavities in such a way that the tension increases in ventricular musculature because of the increased tension in ventricular musculature the pressure increases sharply inside the ventricles when this pressure increases above the pressure in aorta and pulmonary artery the semilunar valves open leading to ejection of blood from the ventricles into the aorta and pulmonary artery first heart sound closure of atrioventricular valves at the beginning of this phase produces first heart sound the second period is ejection period due to the opening of semilunar valves and isotonic contraction of ventricles the blood is ejected out of both the ventricles hence this period is called ejection period duration of this period is 0.22 seconds ejection period is of two stages first stage or rapid ejection period second stage or slow ejection period rapid ejection period rapid ejection period starts immediately after opening of semilunar valves during this stage a large amount of blood is rapidly ejected from both the ventricles it lasts for about 0.13 seconds slow ejection period during this stage the blood is ejected slowly with much less force duration of this period is 0.09 seconds